Okay, so this custom room is just one of the best ever custom rooms based on Android 16 I have ever tried. Why? So in this video, we will talk about everything about this one. So make sure to watch this video till the end. I'm talking about Lunaris USP. The last time when I made video on this one, on this custom room, the version was the previous one. Now we have new version. So having a lot of new changes, let's quickly have a look. So for example, the default launcher as expected, as it is having some amazing options. So it was expected that you will not see Pixel Launcher pre-installed. In this case, we have this Linaris OS launcher, which brings you almost same vibes like Launcher 3 base. So nothing unique, but it's different from Pixel Launcher. So if you need more customization, this is definitely here. The quick settings panel is also having some goodies inspired from nothing OS, of course, that the, the brightness slider is also not the default one, which you're getting with many of the custom rooms. You can change some things in this case. You can resize the tiles and so on. Everything is just similar. It's also available in this case. For now, nothing unique, nothing special. If you move on to settings UI, what you will notice is these colorful icons are already colorful not the default one which you're getting with AOSP so that's different and also same goes with our customization hub where you have a lot of features a lot of customizations and some of the customizations you are definitely going to love we have these options and let's just talk about play integrity also what about play integrity right now in many custom rooms in some custom rooms, basically, you are not getting the play integrity fix included, but you have the key box option available there. So as in this one, if you're able to notice three ticks, three green ticks. So no issues with play integrity. In this case, I have disabled the play integrity fix, which is by default, but you have the key box XML option available and how to find that key box. As I just told you, I made a video already on that one. So you can check out the description box for that video. What about circle to search? It is working. It is having no issues. You can use circle to search also. Actually, this is available for many devices officially. For some of the devices, it's available unofficially. So if you want to go and check out, you can. What about some other things? We have quick settings customizations and that's good that with the latest, with the latest Android 16 new update, we have quick settings customization. Some of the customizations are quite okay, but some of the things like the blur customization, I personally loved this thing a lot because many custom rooms are giving you the new quick, set, new quick settings panel, but the blur sometimes giving you some issues in some backgrounds. But in this case, you finally have the option to adjust the blur. This is in my personal opinion is one of the best ever features available in Android 16 based custom rooms for now. So yes, Linaris AOSP, this is just so good. If you move on to other things, of course, you can change this to the default Android 14, 15 style quick settings panel also, but use the latest one that looks good. If you move on to notification section, you will notice that all the basic options like four stop and heads up notification and so on. Everything is present here, nothing unique and nothing different, but it's available. So just wanted to let you know about these options. We also have few tweaks in lock screen. For example, you have this multi users, which are directly available on the lock screen. And this is available in the lock screen customization. You just have to enable the user switcher option and you're good to go. Everything else, we also have this dose animation. So nothing goes style dose animation also present in this case. You have to enable it. I guess if it is enabled by default, it's good. If it is not, you can enable its own. Also have some options, some tweaks related to sidebar. And if you use multitasking, if you do floating with you install floating windows, do multitasking and so on, then you have this option available, which might be useful for you. So simply enable some sidebar things. I mean, enable sidebar, have the option for some pinned apps and you will see you can adjust the rows, columns and so on. For example, in this case, we have the option for columns. So one, two, three, it's totally up to you. You also have the option to choose some other things. For example, transparency, slider length, the side, which is left side, right side. You can totally explore all these things. And even you can further customize the icon size. You can customize the icon padding and many, many more things. So yes, sidebar is available here, which can be customizable. And it's actually enabled in the form of LMO free form, as I just told you. That's good. And another outstanding thing is related to in this customization, which is enabled is quick switch. So you can switch between the default launchers. Quick step is enabled by default. You can switch between pixel launcher or launcher. This is literally outstanding. A lot of features are there, which you can go and explore after installing this custom room. So don't miss it out. 
You also have some options like hiding the keyboard IM space and so on. Some security bypass features. Those are just so good. So you can go and explore. These were things just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.